Hello students, today we will be talking about a very prestigious program in mathematics, the Master of Mathematics program or the M-Math as, as, as it is also known, which is offered by the Indian Statistical Institute, ISI. We will be talking about the scope, the eligibility, the selection, the procedure and the number of seats and the stipend associated with this very program. This entire information that we have, that we have compiled over here is brought forward in favor from the services classes which is a premier organization dealing with imparting quality mathematics information or quality mathematics knowledge preparation to students who are hopeful of getting into the prestigious mathematics programs which are offered all over India like the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, the IIT JAM mathematics exam then we have the gate mathematics exam and so on and so forth including the ISI M-Math exam. So these are the various courses that services classes students appear for and are catered to. So let's get into um, knowing more about the master mathematics program. So let's learn about more about the scope of the M-Math program. So this M-Math program is basically a two-year degree program which focuses on basically the advanced level training in the theory and basically the various abstract methods and real life applications of mathematics. This program is currently offered at the ISI Bangalore campus. And if, if you are selected for this course, you will have to relocate to the ISI Bangalore campus and study over there. Now, what uh, now let us understand about the careers, career prospects after the completion of this program. So now, mostly it has been noticed that mostly after the completion of the program, students are inclined for much of an academic career or a research career. Academic career. And this course is so rigorous and so helpful that most of the students are able to pursue their advanced studies or PhDs from very good colleges not only in India but also in the Europe. So there are students who have gone to Princeton to MIT and all those institutes to pursue an academic career in mathematics, probability theory and also in very in the theoretical computer science and all those things you are you will be able to work. Apart from that there has been a steady increase in the number there has been a steady increase and in recent in the recent years there has been a very very um, good burst or a, a burst of um, opportunities in the private in jobs relating to the MMath students. You can work both in the private sector and the public sector organizations after the completion of this very program. If you see poor placements, the average placements that has been noticed is seen that you can land up with a job of about 15 lakhs per annum if pursued properly. This can go even more but an average salary in the range of 15 lakhs per annum is normally seen in this program. Now having learnt about the scope it is very essential to know about the eligibility criteria pertaining to this very program. Now who can appear for SIM? Now this program can be um, pursued by anyone who basically has a three-year bachelor's degree or they he can have also a BE or a BTEC degree so engineering graduates are also eligible to appear for this case provided they had mathematics as a subject also students uh, also ISI students who had a BSTAT degree are directly eligible to appear for this ISI and math examinations so this is the structure now coming to how many seats are available so as you know this um, course is currently offered in only in one campus the ISI Bangalore campus so a total of 20 seats are available for this program out of which 10 seats are for the general category students 5 seats are for the OBC and SL students 3 seats are for the SCSC students and 2 seats are for the ST students so now these 20 seats that have been uh, said this 26 is excluding all the other students who are directly getting admission into this program from the B stat or BM, uh, B math program of ISI. So there are some students who directly get admission from the B stat or B, um, B math program in ISI. Excluding that, there are 20 seats. So those 20 seats are for students from other institutes or other branches or streams. So those are the num 
the, the distribution pertaining to this very particular M math course. Now let's talk about the selection procedure. So now as I've already mentioned, the number of seats is very small. There is only 20 seats available. So there is a very good competition associated with this course. So let's talk about the selection procedure. Let us get uh, into the selection procedure in a very uh, ex extensive manner. So the selection procedure is divided into various um, categories or various stages or not stages in particular, various um, various ways I can say. So now there are students from B math. So if there is a particular student from B math and he has basically the B math honors degree, not the general or the past degree, but the honors degree. In that case, students who had this B math honors degree from ISI, they get a direct admission to the M math program without any selection test or interview. So this is one criteria. This is one criteria to get in. But there are all the other. But what about the other students? So all other eligible candidates for all other eligible candidates you have to give the written test and if you clear the written test and also the subsequent interview after that only in that case will you be selected into this m math program so only b math honor student get direct admission b math honor student from isi get direct admission all other candidates have to appear Otherwise, you have to appear for the written test and also for the subsequent interview. Even the BMAT students who had just a general degree and not the honors degree from the ISI, even they have to appear for the selection test or interview. Only BMAT honors students are eligible for direct admission. Now, talking about the exam in general. So, this written test which is taken up by the IS for the ISI MMAT program comprises basically questions on mathematics and those questions come up from the undergraduate honors or major level um, level on that level of study and those questions are both in multiple choice and also in short answer types in the first part in the part a of the question paper you will have multiple choice questions and in the second portion you will have basically short answer or descriptive subjective kind of questions um, mentioned over there now let us talk about the stipend so as we already know that tuition fees associated with um, the MMAT program is zero. There is no tuition fees associated with um, the MMAT program at ISI. Rather, you get a month stipend of monthly stipend of rupees 5000. And over and above that, you also get a contingency grant per year of rupees 5000. So as you can see, there is a very minimum. Only you have to bear the hostel charges and the footing charges. And that is also very, very minimal compared to the other institutes which offer similar kind of programs or even in general any any college it is very very negligible and rather they will pay you back not pay you back they rather pay you or give you a stipend of 5000 above that so essentially you are studying on a very good environment and you can sustain yourself while you are in that very institute so this is the structure uh, or the various information that we could compile or conjure for the ISI MMAT program. I hope that going through this in, uh, video has been very interesting for you and you will be further motivated to get into this course after going through this very video. And if you have any trouble, if you have any doubts regarding this program or you need to know, you need some more clarifications or more information regarding this program, then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to reach out to you and help you as much as possible. Thank you very much.